So Lightroom just put out a new update that in my opinion is pretty big, especially because there's three main things that stood out to me that are gonna make editing a lot faster and more efficient and I'm stoked on them. So let's run through a couple of examples and get into it right now. So the first biggest update being that you can now select people either as a group, individually, and their own features. That being their facial skin, their eyes, their lips, the pupils, the body skin, their hair, just every individual feature you want to edit and do certain adjustments to as a separate mask. I was already really excited whenever they had released the first updates introducing the AI masking because now you didn't have to just brush over your whole subject, miss parts of the hair. The AI masking do a way better job than I would, and that was great. But my only gripe was like, man, if we could only select the facial skin or the body or the hair just to do certain edits to it, and now they have. So this is really great for portrait editing, whether it's any type of photo where it's an event, a headshot, a lifestyle photo, just anything that has a person in it, you can now select their individual features as long as the masking tool picks them up. And so far the photos that I've tried this on, it's done a really great job and I haven't had any issues really. And I keep it really simple. One of the things I do is just soften the skin a bit, brighten up their eyes, especially if I'm using lighting like this or I used flash, make their pupils more saturated to pop a little bit more, sometimes soften their hair and their body skin and that's it. And you could do this before, but just not locally. You would have to either select the whole subject and affect their clothing, their hair, all, all at once, or just brush over certain parts. And then are you ready for this? This part is even more crazy. You can sync these masks across multiple photos. So let's say that you have a single portrait and you do your edits to it. You select the skin, the face, the eyes, the hair, but now you have to do that through five more photos. So instead of just redoing it each time or copying it over to each photo, you can sync it across and it's gonna do those same edits, take a little bit of time, but it's gonna work. All you have to do is double check to make sure it's synced it correctly and see if you have to do any adjustments and that's it. And this is especially great for my workflow because I like to go through all the photos, select the ones I'm gonna edit, do my color adjustments first, and then fine tune doing these types of masking, facial, retouching, things like that. So the next biggest update is you have the content aware tool that you had in Photoshop in Lightroom. So this is really awesome, again, because for my workflow, after I'm done with a photo shoot in Lightroom, I export that full resolution, and then I simply edit the JPEGs in Photoshop. I don't need all that raw data to just clean up some dirt, some spots, whatever it is in the photo. I'm just gonna use the JPEG to make that process a lot smoother. So now having this tool in Lightroom, I don't have to do that at all. I can clean up the photo, facial blemishes on their face, replace things that I don't want in it, and do it all within Lightroom. And that's just pretty crazy because I don't have to jump to another program to do that, which means it's gonna make the process a lot faster and smoother. And I feel like that's the extra mile to go with your photos, whether I'm shooting a real estate photo and the sidewalk is dirty or there's dirt, mud, something like that. I'll always bring it into Photoshop to do that. Or it's a portrait, I'm gonna clean up, you know, a couple of zits or facial blemishes or just hair flyaways. It's just awesome that this is now within the same program so you don't have to go somewhere else. You hear that? That's the fans from my laptop blasting at full speed because I'm currently transcoding the footage from this camera, my Canon R6, because it still does not run great in Premiere Pro. So anything to make the editing process smoother and easier. On another note, if you guys have been enjoying the titles and animations you see in this video and all my other videos, they're all from Motion VFX. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I did want to mention a really cool sale they're running from November 7th through December 4th, where you get 30% off everything in their shop. And like I said, I use this for all of my client work, videos like this, all the title animations. I just don't want to spend any time doing that stuff. And they're already pre-made, easy, look great, minimal. It's a win. So if you're interested, the link is in the description below. And now back to the video. And my last favorite update is the ability to select objects within your photo. So this came really handy where I was editing a photo set and we had the client's pet, a black furred dog in the photo and behind them I didn't have the opportunity to backlight or hair light or anything and so they kind of fell off into the shadows but the great thing about this was I was able to select the dog which it did it perfectly and do local adjustments just to that. 
So before I would have had to brush over it, you know, really spend time getting the feather right, making sure I wasn't going over parts of it and then do my adjustments. So again, this just speeds up the workflow like crazy because it automatically selected it. You can either draw a box or brush over the area and it will automatically select the object and then you just have to make your adjustments and you're good to go. So in this case, I brought up the exposure and shadows and that's it. And actually, while we are on the subject of selecting objects, you can now select the background as well. This is great too, because before there was a little bit of a workaround where you could select your subject like you could before, but then you would have to invert that mask and then you'd be able to edit everything except your subject. So this is great because again, it's just one click. It's meant for that and you can make adjustments to that however you want. This is great if maybe the background behind your subject is really dark or really bright different colors, you wanna just manipulate that area and not your subject, another game changer in my opinion. So final thoughts, I'm honestly excited on these types of updates. I know a lot of people kinda of don't like AI based editing and all these things that are coming out now since we're in the future, but I think it's awesome because in this case, I don't believe it makes us more lazy or less skilled in the long run. It's just tools to help us do our job more efficient and faster and enjoy the process more in my opinion because I don't know about you, but I just feel like if I have to spend hours and hours editing, sometimes if I'm not enjoying that process, I'm gonna get burnt out on it. So having these tools available for us to make our job more efficient is always a win for me. And it's like, you can't just take a bad photo, drop it into these programs and expect for it to be a great photo. You still have to know composition, camera settings, framing, all of the basics, if not more. So they're just tools to make our job easier. So leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts. Let me know if you have any other updates that you've seen in the program that you're stoked on. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be part of the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Time to get back to uh, editing. Got a photo shoot to edit.